building a wind machine. Um, if you look over there, that's what it's going to look like. And um, so what we started with is we took two cups, we put one at the very bottom, we put one on top of it, like that, took two pieces of tape, and taped it right here. And then we did it the same on the other side. You gotta hold it down and you might need tape just to help. And then you take the other two cups and then we um, did the same thing. We did this. And we um, we together. Okay. So this piece, you can choose any of these two pieces. Uh, and then you can just take one of them. I'm going to take this piece and put it right there. Um, Take one of these pieces, a piece of tape, and you do this, and that's good. Just put an extra piece of tape on after the end. Okay. Ready, Bella? Yeah. So you put the piece of tape, you put this up there, and on the very bottom, you do that. So basically it's like that, and it should be a very weird bobblehead sort of, and it's probably easier if you lay it down. And then you do it on the other side. Make sure all the cracks don't And then, um, so then what you do is on this piece, you want to put two holes. Probably not like that. Put a nose deep. Um, and then cut it, it out. See if there's any extra pieces. Um, and if they're inside, it doesn't matter. It, it, it'll just be the same, no matter what. Shit, there's a bobby right now. Same thing with the hole on the other side. Cut it out. And you stick the straw through on the other side. Make sure there's very little resistance. If it's pretty much there's quite a bit of resistance. Cut around it some more so you feel and there's barely any resistance. Right now, there's barely any. And then um, what you can do is you can do two straws and do two different ones. But um, then what you do is you take a straw, a piece a, of um, small paper plate and you put your finger in the middle and you cut, but you want to keep at least a finger's length between the middle and um, the lines. So I will be back when I'm done, I'll cut it. So then when you're done, you just fold it and it 
it won't be totally even. You don't want it to. You want it to be sort of like that. Okay. So let me get that all first. And what's the purpose of the folds? The fold. The purpose of the folds is to um catch the air under it. So so basically if um. Oh, and then you want to, well, yeah, it's basically to catch all the wind. So then what you want to do is tape the long side of the straw, but you don't want a lot of tape. You want just to tape it to the propeller, basically. So I do it this way. Turn it on here. Hold it. Stick that there, and then we'll and then maybe that, and uh, that. That should be it. And we'll be back when I'm done doing all. So um, this is the completed machine. Um, we made two different propellers, rotors. We made this one with the green straw, and we didn't bend it all the way like the one, like this one. We, we did it so we just put it in little waves. And we made the same, the other one, this one, where the wind wants to get trapped. And I'm pretty, and I found out that, we found out that this one works better because if, and also you might want to, um, if you start it, you also want to use a hair dryer like this. To get your wind, okay. but what you want to do is, um, you want to start it with this up, because if you start it basically like this, you have to shoot it under here. But if I, but if you do it here, string wouldn't just always slide off but use the one something sort of like this so we'll use a string goes straight up so the string goes up because if you don't it'll the string just falls right off it goes right over this but sometimes if i think you might not need to all you have to do is just cut it cut this piece so it goes straight out and straight up so the string just hooks in but i'd recommend using this so then it saves some trouble so this showed us. So this showed us that um, when the wind gets trapped, it can do work. And it's a very simple thing. Thank you. Thanks for watching.